Leah Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for October 2024. On October 9th, we have Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings going retrograde at 21 degrees in Gemini energy. So before we jump in and unpack what Jupiter's retrograde is all about, I am going to recommend that you download your October energy guide specifically tailored for your individual zodiac sign. If you are listening to this particular astro forecast on my Patreon, then you can access those particular workbook pages below this video. Either way, I want those pages to be in front of you because we are about to do a major review. Anytime that a planet goes retrograde, we get a pause. We get to sit on the sideline, sit on the bench for just a sec, and we get an opportunity to catch up. We have to reflect, we have to review, we have to revisit a lot of topics and themes that, again, when a planet is direct, we're just moving on, moving forward. We're seeing the options, the opportunities for growth, for expansion out in the external realm. And then that pivot, that retrograde pauses the kind of action and activity out in the external realm in order for us to again catch up. Now, let's just revisit a couple of things, shall we? We did have Jupiter move into Gemini energy in May of 2024. And of course, in an air sign, this is all about the mental plane. This is all about us kind of being open-minded, really pushing the boundaries of our thoughts, of our ideas, of our opinions, of what it is that we think we know. We're definitely more in a situation to be open-minded, to be open and willing to learn, to actually see both sides of the coin. Because it's a mutable sign, this is a time for change. We are changing our perspective, changing our thoughts, changing our opinions, and changing our, let's call it a Ability to kind of see the forest from the trees. Now, Jupiter is also about luck. And the way that we go about kind of creating that luck is we have to be fluid. We have to be curious. We have to put ourselves out in the world. The Gemini energy really, really relies on, let's call it triggers and activations, light bulb moments coming from our environment, coming from conversations, coming from collaborations, coming from taking in the information, the details from our outside world. So of course, there's been a lot of information coming at us. This is the time of disclosure. We are being challenged with understanding that pretty much everything that we've learned to some degree was a lie or carried so many falsities that now we're peeling back the layers to actually expose the truth. Because there's a lot of mental energy, mental chit chat, a lot of information, a lot of let's just call it deep seated thoughts, we are definitely challenging the boundaries. Again, looking to grow, looking to expand those particular boundaries in our mental plane. So we also have to understand that Jupiter, he is the hype girl of the Zodiac. We do have optimism and confidence working in our favor, but he also magnifies, which means that there could be too much of something. And because this is an air energy and Gemini energy specifically, there's too much information coming at us that we haven't taken the time to actually process, to actually review, to actually integrate. Thus... While we are retrograde, we are going to be doing all of those things. Now, let's just talk about a couple of dates, if you will. Now, considering the fact that Jupiter is an odor planet, the pre-retrograde shadow period is not as noticeable as it would be for an inner planet, say Mercury. We definitely start feeling when our mental plays start kind of slowing down. But Jupiter, Jupiter actually entered into his retrograde shadow period, the pre-retrograde shadow period, July 15th, and that was at 11 degrees in Gemini energy. Jupiter is going to go retrograde here on October 9th at 21 degrees in Gemini. And so from now until February 4th, 2025, we have a lot to do, a lot to review, a lot to process, a lot to actually think about. Now, 
Jupiter will station direct February 4th of 2025 at that 11 degrees that we went into that pre retrograde shadow period at Jupiter will not be leaving his post retrograde shadow period until April 30th of 2025 again at that 21 degrees. So considering the fact that we have a couple of months to kind of be sitting on the bench to have this time out to really challenge ourselves to review certain topics and themes and information, really kind of reflect upon what it is that we think we know what it is that we think we're doing, really kind of realign with different ideas, different goals, different paths and moving forward. It is very safe to say that we will not see things through the same lens in February as we're currently seeing them in this present moment. This is going to be a time for us to rethink about our goals, rethink about our plans, rethink about whatever area of life Jupiter's transit is actually impacting in your chart. Another reason why, again, I create the resources in which I do so that you can take a look at your chart, see where that Gemini energy is and see a, the house that it is in, because that's the area of life that's going to be impacted the most. And B, if there's any placements any natal placements in your chart that are going to be aspected by Jupiter. That is a very important turning point, pivot point in your chart. So again, this is a time of kind of questioning what we thought we knew, what we thought we were doing, what we thought we were pursuing. This is a great time to kind of develop a new perspective, kind of take on a different lens, especially with past situations and circumstances, events that have already come to pass. And even more than that, this is about really getting very clear on what we actually believe to be our own personal truth. Now, again, Jupiter tends to kind of magnify different areas of our lives, different topics and themes. And because this has everything to do with the mental plane, there may be one particular focus that you will be spending this whole retrograde transit trying to unpack, trying to understand, trying to regenerate as far as a new perspective goes, a new narrative goes. But we have to consider the fact that we have to look out for areas of access or extravagance, meaning where is there too much of something? Where do we need to slow the F down? Where has there been too much going on, too much chaos, too much information, too many tasks, too many chores? This is a time for us to recognize where one area of our lives have been going balls to the walls and we haven't been given a break. This is an opportunity for us to kind of see where we need to kind of slow our roll, slow the pace down just a tad, where it is that we have to kind of eliminate a lot of this over excess energy or over excess materialization, information, conversation, whatever the topic and theme may actually be. The downside is, is that we're in an analyzation mode, which most people don't enjoy. Most people just want that forward movement. They want to go, 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 go. They look at retrogrades as a time of I'm going to say something to fear. They look at retrogrades as a time where things fall apart. May I just remind you that if things fall apart under any particular retrograde influence, it's because it wasn't supposed to be part of the plan and you've been holding on too tightly to those particular topics, themes, people, places, and things. A retrograde is supposed to give us time to get aligned, to get integrating the information, the wisdom, the knowledge that we didn't even know that we knew and really kind of challenge what we know that we know to the next degree. And so because Jupiter is like the hype girl, because he does bring optimism and confidence and really encourage us to dream the greatest dream possible, there could be a little bit of an element where we're kind of not as optimistic and confident as we would be if Jupiter was direct. We could find that we're getting a little bit down on ourselves, that we're not able to dream the biggest dream available because we're a little bit skeptical. We're a little bit of a negative Nancy. That's okay. We have the other planets really helping us out, helping us through this particular transit in order to peel back the layers to expose to us things that we didn't even have the time nor the attention span to actually consider. So this is going to be a time where, again, a little bit of reality check coming at us. 
we are going to be challenged in our mental planes. We do have a particular new narrative, new inner dialogue that we have to adopt. Again, the new version of self just coming online. The old ways of kind of talking down to ourselves aren't going to work for us any longer. So this, again, is a time for us to pause, for us to be sitting on the bench, for us to be reflecting back, reconnecting with old ideas, with old, you know, chapters of learning lessons that we've gone through and give us an opportunity to really balance those scales. Again, we are kicking this particular retrograde off while we're still in Libra season. So it is going to be a very interesting dynamic for us to kind of start pushing ourselves to see three things, to see ourselves, to see the people, places and things in our lives through a different lens, from a different perspective. And again, Jupiter is here to help us grow, to help us evolve, to help us integrate the tough love life lessons that we've already gone through, that we've already been dragged through, to give us the time to integrate that particular information in this present moment, in the here and now. So of course, we're going to have a lot of interesting dynamics pop off while Jupiter is retrograde. And we are definitely going to see that this pause is actually helping us at this time. Because again, we're in a completion chapter, we're in a closure chapter, there can't be all of this option and opportunity in the external world for us to glow up and grow up for us to advance for us to expand for us to move on when realistically the energy the effort should be focused on what we need to wrap up what we have to provide an ending and a closure to what it is that we have to arrive at so that we can be firmly standing in our own personal truth it's going to be very important especially moving into 2025 in order for us to be as informed as we possibly can on what our belief system actually is what we believe to be true and what we believe we can actually achieve when it comes to bringing our dreams our goals our visions to life <music> 